Okay, so I want to talk about Geode for a little bit. This is something that a lot of people don't know about, from what I can tell, and a lot of people saw some of the stuff I was doing with this in my last video and were very confused by it, so I'm just going to break down what Geode actually is for all of you who don't know. So first and foremost, if you want Geode, you go to this website here, geode-sdk.org. Uh, it's, it, here's the thing, I will warn you right off the bat, just like Megahack, Windows Defender likes to false flag Geode as a virus, so you might have to fight with Windows Defender a little bit to get this to work, but I promise you this program is completely safe. Those of you who have used Cheat Engine know what I'm talking about, this kind of shit just happens with programs like this, but yeah. So, Geode's installation process is very simple. You just click install, pick your device. It does have Mac and Android support, which we'll get into that in a bit. That's one of the coolest things about Geode, but we're just going to click Windows for this. And, like I said, things might false flag it as a virus. Chrome here is saying that it's a suspicious file. Just download it anyway. It's fine. Um, so then once it's done, literally all you do is run the installer like you normally would any other installation of a program and uh, you just run it and it should just install really it's not that complicated there's no dragging anything into a directory or anything like that you just kind of run it and you pick your um, your steam folder and all that you do want to install these three things uh, so yeah you just pick your steam folder and you click install I'm not going to do this just because, well, I already have it installed, so it's kind of pointless if I do that, but yeah. One thing I will say about Geode uh, is that it is not compatible with the normal version of Megahack, so I'm just going to quickly explain how to get Megahack working in Geode, because it does work, uh, you just have to do something a little bit weird to get around uh, compatibility issues. So. When you open up the Megahack installer, there will be two versions. There will be Alpha and Geode. So if you already have Alpha installed, Alpha does not work with Geode. So what you have to do is you have to uninstall it, and then install the Geode version. On top of that, Megahack is like the only mod that can't be directly installed in Geode. Again, more on that in a bit. But because it can't, whenever Megahack has an update, you still have to do that through the installer. Just something to know. Now that you're here, we have Geode installed, and we have Megahack installed. Which is pretty cool. But that begs the question, what is Geode and why would you even want to install it in the first place? The best I can describe it is, Geode is effectively the forge mod loader of Geometry Dash, but with an extra feature that makes it even better than that. Uh, what this feature is, in this mod rather, is it is a tool that lets you manage and install a fuck ton of community made mods. So, you know, all of the mods I have installed, I can view them within Geo just like you could something like Forge Mod Loader. You can also go to certain mods, like let's go with uh, Grandpa Demon over here, and you can click on the settings button and you can actually change the settings for the mods. You know, I could go to Better Info and I could manage its settings. Uh, which, it's just really nice, it's just a general mod manager and it makes things really simple. The second thing Geo does, and one of my favorite things about it, is it lets you download mods within GD, and this is probably the biggest feature. No longer are you going to have to go online and just seek out a DLL. If you want a mod, you just open up Geode and you download the mod. So, you know, for example, let's see, do I want, let's get Minecraft Splash. We click install, and then it prompts us to restart the game, so we restart it. The little command prompt window will pop up, this is just making the game restart. So, uh, and it actually restarts, it doesn't just close it, so you don't have to, like, reopen it in Steam. But, um, yeah, so the game is gonna load back up, and, um, give it just a second. You can see it's not closing in Steam, it, it is actually restarting, it just takes a second. And there it is, Geometry Ash is now loading. 
so now that what the game is booting up we're gonna see right here we have the minecraft splash mod and this is what Geo does, it just lets you manage mods. On top of that, if a mod has an update, the view button will turn blue, you can click on view, and you can click update. So that's what Geo does, it just lets you download mods uh, from within the game itself. It's very useful, and it is heavily supported. There are a ton of popular mods that can now mainly only be obtained through Geo, for example, Better Info. And, uh, yeah, if you're curious, better info, uh, first of all, for those who were confused in the comments, yeah, that's why I have a buy button, it's, it's better info's alternate texture. Uh, but what better info does is it, re uh, re-adds the names of deleted green users. So as you can see on ICDX, I can view Roadbose's name, and I can view all of his levels. Really cool mod, really useful. So, uh... Yeah, Geode is just filled with a bunch of mods that are useful. For example, here's Jukebox, which is a Nong switcher. It lets you download Nongs directly from Song File Hub. So if I type in Aerial Gleam, like this, and you can see right now the song I have installed for this song ID is Jawbreaker. However, if I click on the name, I can switch it to the I Cry remix and have that for Aerial Gleam very useful and just in general there is an endless amount of stuff you can mess with with geode now a quick disclaimer for people who are getting into this some mods may cause the game to crash the game updates geode updates sometimes mods become outdated and on top of that bugs happen and so certain mods may cause the game to crash and if that happens either just avoid doing the action that caused the crash or just wait to use the mod until it gets updated for example when better info first released for uh geode when it first released for geode and it was on like version one there was a really funny thing where it would crash if you tried to view green usernames which i can show right here all that being said I would recommend basically all of the mods I have installed here, they're all very useful. Uh, one of my favorites is GDDL integration, which shows the GDDL tiers in-game. So like, if I go to Crimson Clutter, I can see, and sometimes you have to refresh to see it, but you can see it's a tier 19. Very nice. So most of these features that I have are from Geode, like for example, one of my favorites is where is it? I believe it's GD Utils. Yeah, so this mod, GD Utils, has a feature where you can get a notification on screen whenever a level gets rated. Uh, it's right here. So, like, notifications, you can see them anywhere. I have them disabled in levels, but I have them enabled everywhere else. So, uh, yeah, what this does is whenever a level gets rated, it will uh, show you... The notification for the rate and they even have a little way to test it which I'm gonna do now so it just looks like that right you can see the level get rated really cool and that's basically what geode is it just lets you download mods really useful feature and I definitely recommend people check this out because this is basically the future of GD modding I forgot to mention too uh, part of why people are using this instead of the old-school DLL method is because of compatibility. The coolest thing about Geode is that the mods are not being made for the platform, so they're no longer making mods for GD on Steam or mods for GD on Android. What they are doing is they are effectively making mods for Geode. So, what that means is instead of having to port your mods to every platform, you just make your mod for Geode and Geode itself gets ported to those platforms. So you remember how I mentioned that on the website there are versions of Geode for Android, Windows, and Mac, right? The reason this is cool is because if you make a mod for Windows, that mod will also work on Mac and on Android. The only thing that needs to actually be made for the different platforms are, is Geode itself, but it's not hard from what I understand. So what this means is that on top of being just a really useful mod manager, 
Geode allows for uh, cross compatibility and what I can only describe as cross play for mods, which is just insanely useful. So yeah, that's everything I had to say about Geode. I definitely hope you check it out and give it a try. And that's all I really have to say. So yeah, thank you for watching.